This is uh, Dr. Derek Mahoney, and I'm here to talk about this excellent new publication by the American Association of Orthodontists. Um, I'm very proud to be a member of that uh, prestigious organization. And um, what the AAO have done is link the role of the orthodontist in the diagnosis and the treatment um, of um, sleep disorder breathing problems. Uh, in particular, this white paper talks about obstructive sleep apnea and the orthodontic role. And what I like about this white paper, it has a division between adults and children. So what uh, is the differential diagnosis? What would you use to help diagnose an adult who has OSA versus a child who has OSA? And then based on that diagnosis, what treatment modalities uh, are acceptable? You know, uh, in the adult case, is it uh, the ideal treatment by maxillary advancement osteotomy? Is it a mandibular repositioning splint? Is it um, a development of the palate? Is it nasal problems, etc.? This is quite a big publication, and if I could just uh, spend some time highlighting the different aspects of it. Uh, the section on adult obstructive sleep apnea goes to the etiology, and then it talks about the significance of not treating um, obstructive sleep apnea, uh, which I think is great when you have that conversation discussion with your uh, patients. The screening tool, so what could you use? And they specifically talk about my favorite, which is the stop bang questionnaire. Then the clinical examination, what would you look for in the mouth as early signs and symptoms, maybe sculpting of the tongue, excessive wear facets. And then the diagnosis and treatment planning, uh, which is multidisciplinary between physicians, surgeons, and the orthodontist. Um, we go through informed consent, they talk about then the surgical side of things, the SAMIs for adults and the uh, MMAs for adults. Then the next section, we're now at page 12, we'll talk about um, pediatric OSA, defined by a child or a person under 18 years of age. Again, etiology, risk factors, symptoms, diagnosis. And what I like about this is when you then look at the role of uh, the orthodontist, we talk about uh, things to ask the parents, like loud snoring, uh, mouth breathing during sleep, poor school performance, aggressive behavior, uh, bedwetting that's not age appropriate, hard to wake up in the morning, very, very good uh, conversation starters that an orthodontist should have with their new patient. We then look at screening tools. The one that they're talking about here is the uh, PSQ, uh, Pediatric uh, Sleep Questionnaire, and it's in the appendix here. I'm very, very uh, uh, excited to be able to share uh, this document with anyone who's, uh, who's interested because I think it's important uh, for um, everyone in the community, whether you're a general dentist doing orthodontics or a specialist orthodontist, to be um, aware of your important role in helping these patients who have sleep disorder breathing problems. So if you want to have further information, please send me an email, I'll have you send you a copy of this and happy to uh, discuss cases. I think the more we learn, the better it is for our patients. Thanks very much for your attention.